Hi friends, Queen of Flannel here. Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I have a flip through for us. This is from a recent mini haul from Etsy. And I shared my, my books that I got, just kind of a, a little peek at them uh, on my last live stream. And I had a request to do a flip through of this book in particular. And so this is a Korean coloring book. I do not speak Korean, so I can't directly translate anything in the book. But on Etsy, it is listed as My Sweet Dessert Watercolor Korean Coloring Book. Uh, I got this from Cool Craft Book. I will link to their shop below. Uh, it looks like as of now there there's only one left in stock but let me go ahead and just get into this let me take the little little thing thing off here so I've mentioned before frequently uh, that I enjoy drawing coloring painting food and especially uh, watercolor but I think, you know, it's pretty, a, a pretty general consensus in the adult coloring world that there are not many coloring books made specifically with watercolor paper. So we kind of have to take what we can get and work with the paper that's in the majority of the books that we commonly use. Well, this book actually has watercolor paper and it's food, so... Let's go ahead and open this up. And um, unfortunately, like I said, I can't translate any of this. So this this is one of the, the limitations, I, I think, for me as an English speaker. Um, because, let me get to it. So there's a supply list here, which cool. You can, you can see the supplies and, you know, pick out from there what you might need. But in terms of, you know, the colors of the, the paints, uh, I don't know what brand of paints they're recommending. Now it's nice that they give the swatch here. So you might be able to, especially if you are really good with, visualizing colors to, to match things up but you don't have to use the colors that they give to work in this in this book so for me that's not a huge detractor and there's some tutorials here i i can kind of from other books gather what they're what they're explaining here but let's go ahead and get to there's actually quite a bit of informational content at the beginning of this book and even just having the reference photos i think he would help me Yeah, there's a lot at the, the beginning of this book. So now we're into the actual, let me try and zoom us out here just a little bit so we can see both sides of the page here. But this is very thick paper. And I know that we probably, it's probably not going to show on camera but this is actually textured cold press watercolor paper in here. So you shouldn't have to worry about anything uh, buckling when you're working in this book. And the images are relatively simple, which I like. I think this would be a good practice book. And there's a good variety in here as well. So we start off with uh, with some fruits, and it's a it's a nice size book as well. Uh, 
I think this is going to be really, uh, really fun to work in. So maybe we'll do one for a live stream. Or these may end up just being like quick, quick videos. So now we're getting into, we got some macar macarons. I never know how to pronounce it. If it's macaroons, if it's macarons, I think macaroons and macarons are two separate, uh, separate foods. And so this one we've got sideways here. Oh, it looks like, nope, 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 we're back. We're back this way. See, I think it gives just enough of a, like a hint of the lines for you to work in but they're not like super uh, obtrusive. And there's still room that you could do your own, your own thing with them. And you could completely ignore the reference image over here. We've entered the dessert portion of the book. I just thought this was really cute and I'm always on the, you know, on the hunt for food themed books, especially, you know, if they're watercolor or, you know, marker designed for those, those mediums. And again, I like that they're just really simple uh, images to work on, which is nice sometimes, you know, when you need a break from more detailed projects. Oh, this looks yummy. Miss Penguin, Mrs. Penguin. Yeah, you can you can hear when my hand hits it just how thick that cardstock is. So we've got another sideways here. Nope. 
a couple. I can't zoom us out any farther. So it's gonna be a little difficult here on this. Okay, and so we moved back this way. I like the uh, the the text on this because it just it reminds me of like when I work in a sketchbook sometimes and you know making uh, notes. And I've seen some people on YouTube that have like recipe sketchbooks. Oh, so this one's a little bit more detailed. Let me get the uh, the image in here and then what they give us to actually paint on. So I always try, I've tried doing like top down like this in my sketchbooks and they just never come out the way, uh, the way I want them. So maybe painting a top down like this where the line work is already done for me will be a good step to help me kind of learn how to visualize And so, yeah, we've got the last, like, few here are a little more detailed. But, and that, that is it. So this is the, hold on, I got a sweet dessert watercolor Korean coloring book. I will link to, link to... Uh, Moon's shop in the comments below if you're interested in maybe trying to get a copy of this for yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I know the last few videos uh, have been either flip throughs or really, you know, short videos or last weekend I didn't even have a video. Um, it's It's been a little crazy in my world so I appreciate, you know, the, the support uh, that you guys have given the channel even when I'm not at my at my best so I hope to be able to get back into creating longer pieces and more long form uh, content for you guys it's just been a little bit of a struggle lately so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, let me know in the comments uh, what what you think and I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one.